Hey folks, it seems ages since I last did a computer video on, on here, uh, and it is actually, it's, it's quite a long time. I've not forgotten about the various things I started, but um, you know, I have rekindled my interest in guitars, so there's been a lot of guitar stuff on here. But we've got a computer video now, um, there's a couple of things I've had on the go, just down here, starting to get buried, is the, the gaming case project. Um, and then there was this computer I got given for free and um, I wanted to use the components of this freebie as the basis for a new PC or a newer PC and then I thought we'll probably eventually transfer the stuff into here so this is kind of the bridge between those two projects and it's this motherboard which I've picked up off eBay second hand um, you know me, I don't spend a lot of money on computers if I can help it. I like to try and recycle and reuse. So let's just get this one up here. Anti-static bag. Okay. And this is what we've got. Gigabyte, because I love gigabyte boards, the GA78 LMT USB 3. Now I've gone for this because the DDR3 memory is currently in that will go into here, as will the Athlon X2 processor, but the plan is to upgrade the processor um, because the, the, the X2 is okay, but it's not really where I want to go. This motherboard will support uh, bulldozer core processors, so there's a fair scope to get something a little bit more meaty. Also, it's got the PCIe slot which that motherboard surprisingly doesn't have. It's got a PCIe 1, but it doesn't have the 16 slot, which this has, so we can put a decent graphics card in there. Um, it also looks cool. <laughs> this is rev um, revision 6 of the board. So these um, heat sinks on here are pretty cool. Uh, it's got HDMI out and DVI with the onboard video. So there's a, f a few options on the onboard video, though obviously we're not probably going to use that and once we get the system up and running so it, it, it's not a bad board I paid 17 quid for this so I'm quite pleased with that the only thing is I don't know if it works so what I've got to do is start taking that apart take the processor out take the memory out pop it onto this board and uh, see if this thing will fire up I've got no reason to believe it wouldn't although I'm not too sure if you can see on here this staining on here concerns me because that gives an indication of something that might have shorted and blown. Um, camera can't pick that up. So we shall see. I bought this as a for parts or not working, although the seller did say they had no reason to believe it wasn't working. They just hadn't been able to test it themselves. So I've taken a risk on it. 17 quid, it's worth the risk. If it doesn't work, I'll have to go and buy a new one. Um, although that's nearer 50 quid for a new one. Um, still good value to be honest with you considering what you're getting so we're going to have a go at stripping things apart and putting things back together and see how we get on right folks we have everything reassembled we've got the new motherboard in the case i've not connected a hard drive up yet but hopefully i've got everything else connected and we're going to see if it works so this is the moment of truth well that's promising it's switched on hey hey Yep, that's booted, but it's going to come and tell me that it can't find a, a boot device now. So perhaps if we switch off, switch back on again. And we'll... Um, try and get into the BIOS. give me anything right we're in I just don't think it like that monitor that's, that's a TV really so I've dug out an old monitor and uh, we've managed to get into the BIOS so um, that's encouraging um, you know that suggests that everything is connected as it should be 
that's always a good one when you've done a new build what's your CPU temperature it's 25 degrees that means that the cooler is mounted correctly it's keeping the system cool although that fan speed is just ridiculous um, <laughs> that's probably why it's 25 degrees so we need to have a look and see if we can uh, slow the fan speed down it does have smart fan enabled but it's only a three pin fan on there so I think the uh, the motherboard that it came with was somehow able to control that fan speed better yeah so I think a, a new cooler is definitely going to be needed because <laughs> that's loud so much louder than it needs to be okay but generally happy with that yeah we've just got the DVD drive connected at the moment it's got the right date and time so the battery looks good And the intelligent tweaker which is the top option on this motherboard so there's our overclocking options this is one of the reasons why I like gigabyte boards and very easy for that kind of thing plus they're pretty reliable dual bias so if a bias chip gets fried you've still got uh, you've still got your spare so, this is of course an old-fashioned bias I did wonder if this would come with a uh, one of, one of the more modern UEFI BIOSes, but it doesn't. So yeah, that's it. It's um, it's working. System's up and running. I know the motherboard's fine, which is good. And um, what I need to do is do some tweaks and get an operating system installed. So thanks very much for for watching, and uh, please feel free to comment, uh, rate, and subscribe. Thanks very much.